Testing, testing, one, two, and three. And we are, well, we're making our first video. This is Joe Boy Plays Games. And guess what? There should be a theme song or something, blah, 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 blah. But you know what? Who needs it? Let's just say hi. My name is Joe Boy, and I love to play games. And today, we're going to be talking about Factory Simulator. Now, Factory Simulator is an Android game you can play on your phone. Phone. I have a 13 year old son who loves playing Android games. He's like, Dad, Dad, show me, can you approve this game? Can you approve this game? And I always like to make kid friendly games, making sure that games are kid friendly and safe for you kids to play. This is a great game for kids to play, but it's also a fun game for adults to play. It's called Factory Simulator. So let's get a little bit into it and see what it has. I'm not going to do the training because the training kind of puts you in the wrong direction. So let's cancel the training. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some automation. So first and foremost, we're going to take a look at this. And um, you can build. And we're going to build. The first thing they tell you to do, build is the drill. So we're going to build a drill. We're going to put it right there. Now that allows you to start getting ore. But you got to have power. And so um, anyone who has played the game at all so far yet knows you're going to have conveyors. So we'll go ahead and make some conveyor belts. And that will take ore and run it down the conveyor. And we are going to go ahead and use a filter. And I'm going to put that filter right over here. And that filter, I'm going to say, let's put it that way. And we want to filter the ore of coal because coal is going to be our power. OK, so this is real important because coal is power. And power is what we're looking for. We're going to rotate that around. And there we go. And we are going to go ahead and put one of those up here and one there. Boom. So now we're going to need splitters. OK, so I'm going to go buy some splitters and I'm going to just put them like that. There we got some splitters and we're going to rotate them. And so we're going to do that. OK, now I'm going to teach you a very important trick when you're playing these type of games. It's very important that when you're going to lay out items, you want to make sure to maximize their use, okay? And maximize the distributing of product to those items. So in this case, we're going to get coal generators, and I'm going to put them like that. So we're going to have four coal generators. That should be a decent start. But this one is on a 1-1 one, one ratio. This one I'm going to put on 1 and a 2 ratio, and this one I'm going to put 1 and 3 ratio. Now, why is that? It's very important to understand. If the first item comes in and comes in, it's going to hit the green one and go to the first item over here. The next one is going to go to the red one. And from the red one, go to the green one and come down here. The next one is going to go to the green one down here. So now i got two in here and one in here. The next one to go to the red one, hit the red one and go to the green one here. Now i got two one one the next one's going to come in and do the green one down here i got three one one next one goes there now i got three two one so it's going backwards so i'm going to end up having five four three two and it's going to keep filling this one up twice as fast as all the others so by telling this to have one evenly here and two extra so let two go by before filling in the next one and three allows to have a nice even distribution of our uh, uh, our resources. And in this case, this is the coal for power. Okay, so we're still not ready to turn it on because next we're going to siphon off items that are not uh, 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 in this case coal. So let's go ahead and purchase a and realize you can always change your map and your stuff later. But we're just going to build this uh, McCinerator, and we're going to put that there. That's going to chop up anything that comes in and break it down into, let's see, break it down into crushed ores, okay? Now, realize I'm talking really fast. I'm explaining some of this stuff really quickly, but let's see. Ores is worth uh, $1 for coal, $2 for copper, tin, and iron. That's all the level one stuff, so we're going to concentrate on that. So $2 for that. So I could just sell the ore make $2. But remember, it's going to cost us to get this stuff. It's costing us $100 per repair kit, which gives you 300 ore. So you're only making, you know, 
you're losing hundreds or you're making 200 in profit. So that's not a whole lot of profit for that amount of time. So we're going to increase that money and we're going to do that. We're going to rotate this around, make sure it's always pointing the right direction. Very important, it's pointing the right direction. And then we're going to go ahead and get that uh, smelter. Where's that smelter? The furnace right there. Boom, boom. And we're going to take that furnace, we're going to put it right there. Boom. So that way we're going to rotate that. Boom, boom. And put that there. Now the next thing is what do we want to do with it? Well, let's go ahead and just sell it. Okay. So we're going to just sell whatever comes in. We're going to purchase that sell right there. Put it right there. And then I'm going to add one more conveyor belt so we can watch it go. And uh, I think we've got enough to get going. This is enough to get started. So we're going to turn it on. So we're going to turn this factory on and let it start going. Okay. So, so let's make sure we all understand how clear it is. Um, let's see. Is there a zoom out function? There we go. Now we can zoom in very carefully here. So here we've got our drill is conveying down and here comes an ore. If the ore is coal, it goes up there. If it's not, it gets crushed, put in here. It gets turned into this. Now realize this takes 15 seconds. This takes 7.5, so we can process two of them quite quickly. Okay, two at 1.5, that's the same as 15 seconds, gets sold immediately, so you get some money. Okay, so we're gonna watch that go through, but we're not getting any power. This is not good. So when I look at this, we're supposed to get a 40% chance of getting so far, and we're not. We're getting copper, we're getting everything else, but we need that ore because we're spending three, and we're going through our resources pretty darn quickly. So it's a very simple, but please realize it is a slow game. You're not going to make money really fast. Things aren't going to happen really fast. It's a slow process, okay? But we are waiting to get our first coal. And we still not going to go. There we go. There's our first coal. Coal is coming up and it immediately goes to the right side and it gets dropped in the first one. And the first one lights up. And if you notice, we now have two energy but we're still spending three here's our second one and it drops and we now have four energy and we are spending three so this is good we now know a little bit about what we're doing and it's working okay okay next we're going to zoom out a little bit uh, i'm trying to get the zooming thing easy for you guys but it's just not wanting to play with me too well Trying real hard to get this zoom. Well, this is loads of fun, but notice we've now got six. Now, here's an interesting thing. If you notice, this one has not lit up yet. Okay, so we're waiting. We got two in that one, one in that one, and one in that one. This one has not lit up. That's because we have put two there. This one is two, so this one needs to be three. So three, two, one, and then all these will get filled evenly. It's very, very important if we're going to get this to run well. So notice we're just making ore and we're selling it. Making ore and selling it. And we're getting a little bit of money each time. So how much we get? Well, let's take a look. If we're taking ingots, we're getting $1.40 per ingot. So how many ingots are you getting for each round? Well, let's take a look at the math. Every crushed ore is 1.2. And you get two crushed ores for every ore. So what is that value? Okay, let's go ahead and it's math time. Let's do some math. So the math on um, the ore, which is worth $2 until it is crushed. When it's crushed, you now get two $1.20 items. So now after that uh, 15 seconds, you're going to have $2.40. That is a 20% uh, profit for 15 uh, seconds. Now, if you run it through the eater, which is 7.5 seconds, you then gain another 16% profit 
which is two dollars and eighty cents. So we're at two eighty instead of two forty, or instead of two. So you are now at a sixteen percent uh, uh, profit from the further time. So that's worth the seven seconds and seven point five seconds. Now we're selling it. So now we have to choose: do we want to make plates or wire? Now, if we turn around and make wire, wire sells for 1.9, which is a 35% markup. Plates sell for 1.7, which is a 21% markup. So now the question is, which one's better? So let's verify that. I want to make sure I am telling you the right numbers because I, I said them. Uh, yeah, 1.7 for the plates. And then if we look at wires, it is at uh, uh, 0.9, and of course, uh, uh, you are going to have two of them, so that makes it 1.8, okay? So, the uh, wires take longer. They take 10 seconds, while the plates take 7.5 seconds. So, guess what? That means that the plates actually are a far better profit. OK, um, because with the wire being cost a little, you're actually losing money to make wire versus the amount of time. So you definitely want to look at making things with more plates. So let's do that. Let's go ahead. And we've got five hundred and eighty dollars now. Um, so let's see. Can I get this thing to zoom out? That would be very helpful if we could get this thing to zoom out. Come on. You know, it would be nice, but I'm not getting there. So let's go ahead and we're going to make someone's at my front door. That's awesome. I wonder why. OK, so we're going to make some plates and that requires a hydraulic press. So we're going to say yes to the hydraulic press and we're going to put it right down here. Now I'm going to teach you a little trick. Since we have a live factory going, you don't want to just indiscriminately make stuff and move things around. So in this case, you want to get everything going the right direction and then exchange pieces. I'm gonna exchange this piece to that piece, and boom, nothing got damaged, and we're able to keep going. Another good reason to make plates versus the other stuff. If you look at, um, let's see, plates, I can make copper, tin, and iron plates, all the resources that are coming in. If I go to make wires, I can make tin, copper, and silver. Wait, silver? That's not what we have. I can't make iron wire. And copper is requiring level two. So all you can make is tin wire. Well, that's not great. Only tin wire? I need to make money now and I need to make it with everything. So if everything's coming in, I can now start pumping that in there and it takes 7.5 seconds, which is the same amount of time as this one. So we've got a nice Mary, let's go make some money. Okay, so it's going to sit there and make some money while we go. Now, we are producing four, we're spending four, but wait, there's two here and it's not on. What does that mean? Ah, well, one of the cool things about this game is they only use resources that you need. So if you're not drawing enough power to use it all using this, this way of making it, then guess what? It's not going to charge you for it. So having multiple power sources instead of upgrading your power, is a very smart way to go, okay? So, we have uh, finally got it to zoom into a decent size, and let's go ahead and uh, take a look. We have three in there, three in there, two in there, two in there. So, nice even distribution of our material. So, what's it cost for another drill? Right, because it goes higher in value each time, uh, a buck fifty. So let's go ahead and put another drill here. Boom, and we can turn that on. So let's turn that guy on. Now we are going to have double the amount of production, but it's going to cost us extra power. But extra one extra power, and we get twice as many guys. Now. How much does it take to get one of these? It takes 10 seconds. So it's going to take four seconds to go down the, the, this run. And this takes 15 seconds. So you'd think you'd overrun this. And in the future, it will overrun it. But right now, remember, 40% 
of these are going to be iron. So if they're going to be, or not iron, I'm sorry, coal. So if 40% are going to go to the power plant, then you don't need to worry about it because only half are actually going through here. So you can actually get three of these before it becomes at all a bottleneck. So let's go ahead and put that next one down. So now we got three, we're going to turn that on. Boom. So now we've got this running and it's making money. And I'd love to fast forward, but it's not going to let me. Uh, the game doesn't have a fast forward option. So while we're at it, I'll tell you to take a look at these items here. And of course, the game wants you to hurry up and build your first lock and speakers. And I did some research because you know me, I love my math. So what does it take to build a lock? Well, it takes a rod, it takes plates, and it takes gears. So what do these things cost? Well, let's take a look. A rod is worth 0.9. Okay, and the plate, we already know, is 1.7. And how much is the gears? Let's take a look at gears. Gears is worth 1.7. So you got, let's see, how much of each one to make that lock? Two gears, and two of those, that's four times 1.7. So we go four times 1.7 and um, that gives you 6.8 and then you got 5 and that's going to be times 0.9 okay so that is let's see let's go do some math here 5 times 0.9 not 0 0.9 that's 450 so I add those two together folks and the cost of making that lock is 11 13 okay 11 13 11 dollars and 30 cents that's what's going to cost to make it okay plus 20 seconds of time so your profit is one dollar and 80 cents that's not a whole lot but you do get research and that's where this comes to play the goal of this game is to get money and build your money but also to get research okay and so you have to build up to get there. You have to unlock and get research. And here's a research button. And to get a mouse, you take 25. To get improvements or blueprints, you need 100. So we're going to have to get a lot of research. So if you're going to turn around and make the lock, that looks great, except for you get very little research, 1.3. So the next one's the speakers. Is the speaker worth it? Well, you got to get electronic components four of them well that is let's see four dollars and fifty cents each so four times four dollars and fifty cents each that is eighteen dollars and then you got four times the point nine okay so that one let's add that's three dollars and sixty cents so 18 plus that, so that equals, what do you got there? 2160. Okay, so 2160, that gives you a profit of $3.06. Well, that certainly is better than the lock. So you know what? This one's a pretty easy build. Let's focus on the speakers, okay? Now, as I told you guys before, you see this bar up here? You're going to want to take a look at that bar. That bar determines um, uh, uh, the rate at descent of your repair kits, okay? And we've got plenty. We're we at 222 out of 300. Every repair kit costs you 100. Please remember to keep that in mind. Always have a spare 100 to go because you're going to need it. So initially, I'm going to go ahead and just build that uh, shop right there. And I'm going to put it right there for now. And I'm going to pay for that extra one right there. Now, there's an auto buy option. Remind me to click on this. You can do auto buy and say that every so often I want you to do it. Don't do that yet. We're early game. Okay. Make decisions for yourself. You don't have to auto do it yet. Buy one, set it up, and it's going to drop that right in there. Okay. Now, some people, now you got one spare. So you're not going to use it up way ahead of time. Now, very important. 
People will tell you, put one of these in front of each one and then buy them one at a time. You don't need to. There's actually a way to buy it once and send it to all three of those across time. When we get the money to do so, I will definitely show you how to do that. But initially, we're earning money, we're getting it in here, and we have to slowly but surely build one step at a time. So next, let's build out what would happen when we were to put a, a, a filter here and go down and we just want to get 10 because 10 is what you need if I'm not mistaken to make those speakers everything there is made out of 10 so let's go ahead and take a look at 10 so if I had a down arrow going there with just 10 or first thing you're gonna to want to have is a uh, let's see yep one of these macerators so we're gonna put that right there boom so that makes it easy and um, after you have that, you're going to, of course, want to have one of those furnaces. So let's go ahead and get that furnace together. Boom. And put that there. So that's going to give us only 10 ore coming down. 10 ore is good. Now, in order to make those things, you're going to, uh, let's see, we need to make wire. To make wire, you got to use a wire mill. That's 30. Notice we're getting low on cash. So put that wire mill there. And we're going to go ahead and start making wire. Hmm. But in order to make the next item, the next item is electric circuit. Yep, yeah, we've got enough, just enough. So we're going to go ahead and put that here. Okay. Now, we only got $13. It's not good. We've got no money. We need more money. Because the next step is we need to tell it to either save some of the resource from the wire or send that wire here because it needs four wires here. So we need a uh, one of these splitters. So after 18 more dollars, we should get a couple more there. There's $20. We can go ahead and get a splitter, put that right there, and we're either going to send it down or go that way. Now, because we need four to make one of these and if I remember what is the uh, we need four of these and this makes two so we're gonna have two coming down and we need them go there how long does it take to make 10 seconds how long does this one make 20 seconds okay so I need four to go in here and I need four to go down that way so we could do every other one and leave it alone or I'd rather build the green faster. So I'm going to tell it to do the green faster by one and see if that makes a significant difference. Okay. Now we're going to need to, uh, we've got to manufacture it, don't we? We've got to assemble it. And that assembler is going to be expensive, 120. Let me double check to make sure in order to make that uh, speaker, that speaker is made in the assembler level one. So we need 120. Oh my goodness, how are we going to get there? Well, let's take a look at what we got here. Um, hmm. Okay. So we're getting some extra stuff in here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, put a conveyor. Let's uh, rotate the conveyor once and move that right there. That's where we're going to put the uh, uh, thing when we're done. But since we don't have the money for it, let's wait till we got the 50. And we put a storage box. Now, having a storage box is handy because it allows us to store stuff while we earn money. Okay. And, of course, there's no fast forwarding. We just got to sit and wait. Um, we could exchange this for this to get some more money faster but I don't want to lose see we just lost some ore so I'm gonna take this and turn it around I'll tell you what it's doing that's taking all the pent up ore and setting it up so it's still going out that direction Hmm. 
and this one we're going to tell it to uh, to go to the sell box. So now we're going to lose the money from the extruder unless it's losing 20 cents and we're instead going to send it from here to there. So this ore is going to come in and sell just because we're trying to get money real fast. So because we're trying to get the money faster, even though we're losing a little bit of money, we're getting it faster in. Okay, we're at the $50. I am now going to buy the box and we're going to put that box right there. And uh, let's move it right there. Okay, now with the box there, we can now buy the last item that we need, which is another splitter. Now remember I told you, when you have a live thing, you want to make sure everything's ready to go the way you want. And I lied. I didn't need a splitter. I lied. I needed a filter. Well, we will use a splitter later on, I promise. So it's not a loss. It's just a loss for the time and money that we needed right then. So notice we're getting money quickly. We're still getting money from this. That's going into here. That's going into here. And the money that's coming here raw. So we're catching up and getting the extra funds in. So now we're going to go get that filter. So we're going to get the filter. We're going to put it right there. And we're going to configure it. Okay. So to configure that filter, we want to go ahead and say, I want to go down if it is the ore of tin. And go right if it's anything else. Bingo. And now we're going to move it into play right there. So now, as soon as we get some tin ore, which it looks like some tin ore is coming down, it's going to go downstairs and it gets starts getting chopped right there. So that means it's going to get chopped over there and then drop down further and then come here and then here and it's going to go into this box. So it's either going to create uh, uh, these items or it's dropped in the box. Either way, tin's not going to make us any more money. Okay, there's no sell down here. There's no money to be had. Okay, now for people who played the game before, notice I'm not even using the warehouse yet. The warehouse is a very handy feature and it's very useful, but it's not needed right now because right now you just need the money. So, let's take a look, see, move this over here. Again, this has nothing to do, but while we're waiting for uh, some money to come in, let me show you some handy moving features when I tell it to move you can actually using your phone highlight an amount and then move that amount and place it somewhere I'll show you that again you can highlight an amount and move it around this is very handy if I wanted to highlight say all this stuff and move it here without a fetching or losing any money and I can move it back <laughs> just as easily without losing any money so you're able to make changes to your map real time okay and, and this is important. Now realize you're going to want to upgrade these things, but guess what? They cost money. Okay, let's turn off that move. Let's see what this costs. That's 250. Okay, we don't have 250. We have 67. Okay, but we are constantly making money because these are turning into there, dropping it into here, and being sold um, as uh, ingots. And those ingots are going out at. Uh, 1.4 since they're getting credit for two of them uh, that is 2.8 and so if you count out how many minutes that takes at 7.5 you are actually going to make twenty two dollars and forty cents a minute just selling ingots so how much do you make if you sell plates well might as well just do the math and that's going to be 1.7 and you're running that uh, times two because uh, of how many per plate after they expand that is at 7.5 seconds you are making twenty seven dollars and twenty cents 
per minute if you're selling plates okay if you're selling wire and tin um yeah that's not so good wire and tin you're making a whopping ten dollars and eighty cents so yeah the wire isn't such a great selling tool um but it exists it's there and, and and we can still make money we can take a look at this i'm still 22 in the head so we are doing okay we're not bottlenecked we are still bringing in resources and all our tin is going down into this lovely little uh, 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 factory that we have down here we take a look at the box i have six already here 13 here so pretty decent and we are learning pretty early on that we're going to need more of those uh uh, uh what do you call these uh what do they call them here uh electronic circuits uh, electronic components we're gonna need more of those um than what we're pulling so let's go ahead and increase this to four okay so now it's going to send four here first when it makes sense one here and that will even this out to be exactly what the uh, the warehouse is going to need now realize this is our initial build this is not our end-all be-all and there's a reason for it not being our end-all be-all if it's an initial build it's getting us started as we grow we already know that speakers are going to be very very profitable uh, far more profitable than the lock because we've already determined that the lock costs thirteen dollars and ten cents to make and uh we are selling it for eleven dollars and thirty cents so we make a dollar and eighty cents where the speakers are costing us twenty five uh are, are selling for 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 twenty five dollars and it's costing us twenty one dollars and sixty cents so we're making three dollars and six cents each but more importantly we're getting two point five research each one and we need research we need 25 to unlock the mouse and uh you're gonna need i think 50 let me double check how many to unlock the keyboard because that's the one you want you need 30 to unlock the keyboard so personally if i were you i would skip the mouse and go straight to the keyboard but of course there's going to be more we have quests we got things to do we need five speakers and four locks and a bunch of iron bearings to unlock this order it gives you some cash that's doable this one here, a little bit harder to do. Iron engines and all that. Iron stator. That's possible. And this one is a little bit trickier. You've got to make some locks. That's going to require a lot more stuff in the drill. So that's going to require a lot more um, buildings. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and let's get that factory item going. We need that assembler. And so we're going to go ahead and build that assembler right there and uh so that assembler is ready to go we're gonna take it and move it right there so it's in and there it is and we're gonna tell it we want to make speakers there you go speakers now we're gonna take this box we're gonna rotate it so it's pointed to that and we're gonna move it right next to it Actually, let's move it right in its path where it's going to go. So it's going to go there. We can unload into that, and it can unload back and forth. So here we're going to go ahead and take these 12, and we're going to say unload them all. It's going to unload those directly into our spot here. Now we're going to take these and say unload them all. And boom, our box is empty. And this is now making the first speaker. Okay. So notice it's a slow game, but at no point have we had a lot of problems with power. Have we had a lot of problems with stuff? We are doing negative power a little bit here, but we're not in pain over it. In fact, we could even go fix that right now. Let's go ahead and grab some more coal. Boom. Boom, boom. We got the award for building that uh, 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 those speakers. And now we can change these to uh, have that mode right there. Okay. And now three is going to the red. The red, of course, is going to be the middle one. 
and we're going to turn around and put that in that mode again two and that one realize it's very important that we have that red one be increasing or decreasing in value of three two one so that we evenly fill up both sides and get more and more of our resources there so that we can keep the power plant going at a decent speed okay we're going to double check here whether or not we have used up our thing yet not yet so we're almost halfway done and we're uh, 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 almost halfway down there not not as much so we're, we're going through this pretty steadily and uh, we're costing three power here we're costing one two three power here and uh, so that's uh, 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 six seven eight and, and nine and ten so we got 12 power that that's in use right now um, so let's go ahead and we've got speakers okay the speakers are worth how much a piece $25 and some change so uh, that's a good sign so let's go ahead and we should have some money by now let's go ahead and get another sales thing uh, well we could just do a loading area that's fun so we'll do a loading area and uh, I'll put that right over here and boom, we got a loading area. Now the loading area allows for something called the warehouse. The warehouse is where you're able to sell out of and do stuff. So we're gonna take that warehouse and uh, we'll switch it with this. And then uh, uh, I will take this box and put it right next to it, rotate it around and then unload its resources directly into the uh, warehouse. So the warehouse is an imaginary uh, 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 place that's in the sky so you can move stuff. And in the warehouse I have six trash because six times I've wasted. I'm going to turn around and say all of it and I can sell it. I'm going to take my four warehouse uh, 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 items which are the speakers. I say all of them and I'm going to give myself a hundred dollars just like that. So we're able to now to start selling and making money off that stuff. Here it sells automatically. Here you're manually going to tell it what you want to sell so long story short a very quick way to make money in the game we're gonna go ahead and switch these items around notice it's already almost completely gone I'm gonna turn it off while I move it since I'm gonna go ahead and switch it and rotate it like that I'm going to take this and move it there and then I'm going to take this one and move it there and now I'm going to go ahead and turn that back on boom notice how it will drop down even though it has enough to fill them up it's not turning them on because they don't need them running so now it's 10 2 usually has one or two uh, variable based on its usage and now we are cooking with gas this thing's falling into here but notice all that tin is coming this direction okay and we have six tin in the back flow so forth so now we have a little bit of overage overage is not bad so I think that's a good time to stop here and say uh, uh, thank you for watching me play I hope you learned a few things about the math and how factory simulator works and uh, we'll come back and do another one on how to uh, uh, increase and make this uh, expand and make more of these items faster. Because right now, we're not making them one every 30 seconds. It's taking a lot longer to get those resources in to make these items because you have to wait for that tin to build up and come in here. So we're going to look on how to expand that, how to make it faster, how to not have seven waiting in the winds and we're going to make that a thing better but we'll do that on the next video so oh yeah hit that subscribe that would be helpful yeah um this is joe boy plays games over now